Now, eye conditions are estimated to affect up to 5% of Crohn's disease patients. And one condition that can occur in Crohn's disease is called primary episcleritis. So primary episcleritis is inflammation of the episcleral layer of the eye. And this inflammation of the episcleral layer leads to redness, irritation, and burning of the eye. And this condition is more likely to occur during active Crohn's disease. So when the patient's having active gastrointestinal symptoms, they're more likely to have this eye condition. So when those gastrointestinal symptoms are in remission, this condition is often resolved as well. We can also see anterior uveitis occurring in Crohn's disease as well. So anterior uveitis is inflammation of the UV of the eye. So this is going to cause eye pain and decreased vision. So you can see that there are particular important differences in signs and symptoms with regards to both of these eye conditions. So in primary episcleritis, it's going to involve redness, irritation, and burning. Whereas in anterior uveitis, it's going to involve eye pain and decreased vision. So anterior uveitis is going to be very important to recognize because of these signs and symptoms. And like primary episcleritis, anterior uveitis is more likely to occur during active Crohn's disease.